Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us. How many have we got here? Seven. Seven of us. Yes. Fantastic. And um, just remember that no matter what time you watch this, the energy is still going to be just as powerful um, or you listen to it. Time is a human made up thing, so it doesn't matter what time you watch. listen or join in. You're still joining in with the collective. I'll just talk about the radios. If you're hearing clicking noises, I've got um, two um, walkie-talkie radios here. They're both on different channels, and uh, we tend to get um, other dimensional beings setting them off. So if you're hearing clicking noises going on, that is the radios that are going off. They've already started, so no doubt they will make their presence known as we go forward. Um, we also have plant music playing. We've got a lovely spider plant up there with uh, plugged into the music of the plants. Yeah, so we have her playing. Yeah, and um, just a few things that have been coming into our awareness in the last week. One of them is just once again, we've noticed it before, but once again, how time is different from what it used to be three, four years ago. Mm. How um, you can't get as much done as you used to. So the time is much shorter now than, mm. than it was. Yeah. So it's, uh, if we think of this as a simulation, the codes for, t for the time have been changed. noticed it quite a bit really? yeah yeah and so it's not just time that has ch changed but also the reality codes uh, that some of us are becoming aware of and i was just talking to a friend in canada we were talking about for both of us it's when we go into a grocery store yes it's for you too Ginny. yes yes yeah, so it's you go into a grocery store and it doesn't feel real. It feels like you're in a virtual reality. Mm. Yeah, it Do does. you get that? Yes, yeah, get definitely. It. So many of us here are nodding, yeah, nodding their heads. And, mm. I found yeah. it in a cafe as well. I've been sitting with a like-minded friend, and it's literally like you're in your own bubble, like yeah. a different reality, if you like. Mm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and and walking through the supermarkets. It's actually quite strange these days. It, it, it doing is that. very strange, yeah. and it is yeah. probably the way our mind interprets yeah. reality. So we have a different way of interpreting reality to probably what's playing out in front of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also sometimes get it in nature, just looking out into nature. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah, that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Looking okay. out at the sky. Um, also in supermarkets, I found that often. I'm not seen yeah, by yeah. other people. I get that a lot. They yeah. bump into you. Oh. Yeah, they, that's right. They bump into you. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 And it's probably both. It's us mm. raising our frequency so. and the other people lowering their frequency. frequency. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So then we're in different frequency that's bands. Mm. That's right. Yeah. And that's the separation of the earth that mm. Dol Dolores Cannon has, has mm. talked about. Yes. It's like a cell split. And we're moving into two Earths, two yeah. different Earths. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, two different realities. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And it does feel like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing we noticed last time after we turned it off last week, it's uh, how how the energy here is raised. Yeah. How we, very we much can so. handle this energy better. Every week it goes higher. Yes. Every week it's because it's regular, same time every week yeah it it places an implant an impression into mm. this space here yeah, that's yes. right yes yeah yes yeah. yeah, like setting those codes in this mm. in this space yeah mm. yeah, no. mm. yeah yeah definitely and we've had the odd um weird thing happen when john and i have just been here um like musical instrument pinging and making a sound by itself we've mm. both experienced that mm. 
Um, and last week uh, we went out, decided to go out and do a sky watch afterwards, and we certainly had our friends show up with some flash bulbs and um, things. So I think what we're doing here, I feel what we're doing here is being noticed, not just by this dimension, but by the higher realms, if you like, the higher dimensions, and also nature. Yes. Through nature. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, and our intent is to spread it because what we yeah. have noticed is that we've been very safe and yeah. nothing has happened, no disasters or catastrophes. It's all been really good where we are. Yes. And we want to, of course, spread that out throughout the world Definitely. so that yeah. everyone can be safe yeah. and well. Yeah. Definitely setting the intention to spread that right the way out right the way out through the earth too to Turkey because I've heard that Turkey's had another big earthquake um, and also hear what's going on here in New Zealand trying to really clear that got energy yes I know yeah that's right they are what They're freaking out when they hear that mm. oh really mm. oh wow yeah. so they've been traumatized yes that yes, they hear rain and they yes yeah. 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 Huge trouble going on. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So we're sending love and our vibes out to those people that are here and anywhere actually on the planet that are going through anything that might cause trauma or, you know, sadness or whatever it is. Yeah, because that's the game, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The traumatization, we must not, you know, we just keep on working on these frequencies keep on monitoring our thoughts yes mm. uh, yeah mm. yeah and we've also noticed how different the clouds are yeah over the last few days and things well weeks actually if you think about it but certainly more so over the last few days i would mm. say there's definitely feels like there's something different going on mm. to me there's yeah mm. i was saying the guy I followed Tarot by Janine and she did the cards for Match last night and she said Match was being everything was going to be different. It was right. Different. Yeah. So that more truth will come out. Yeah. The banking system will swap over and the there will be many more ETs I think this way and yeah. things. Yeah. Well, with, help. Bring yeah. it on. With <laughs> that we may touch on that too because many people have heard about Project Bluebeam, so holographs can be put into the sky and they can make you think it's been done before. People, thousands of people see it and it looks very real, mm. but it's not, it's just a hologram. Mm. And so the way to know whether it's a hologram or not, whether it's trying to make you scared or not, is by tuning into it and and just sensing whether there is actually consciousness in there. Yeah. Is there consciousness in that? And if there isn't, it's just a hologram. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Technology. Okay, yeah. so we're holding our copper handles with double pointed crystals and connected to our organic hands and connected to this scalar energy fabulous pyramid. And we're just dropping into ourselves, our consciousness, our awareness. And wherever your awareness is right now, often it is in the brain. Sometimes it's with another situation it's sometimes it's somewhere else in space sometimes it's somewhere else in time wherever that is that awareness bring it to your brain the brain the within the skull and we're going going to now take that consciousness and move it slowly down the back of our neck 
and it's something we cannot think we cannot think it we have to do it with our intent so with our intent our consciousness is going down the back of our neck along the spine and then across the right shoulder and down the right arm across the elbow and all the way down to our right small finger our pinky remember don't think it you actually have to be there with your consciousness fully conscious within that little pinky And again, with our intent, we are moving that consciousness from our little pinky that is so conscious, so aware right now. We're moving that up again, up the arm to the right shoulder and across to the left shoulder. Your consciousness is now in your left shoulder. And it is going down your left arm and into your left thumb. Just flowing into your left thumb. That left thumb becoming so conscious, so aware, buzzing with consciousness. And so you see our consciousness is not within our body or our brain. It can be anywhere in space and time. And we are now moving it from the left thumb up the left arm, the left shoulder, the left shoulder is now conscious, to the back of the neck, the spine. Again, you can't think it, you have to intend it, you have to do it. And this consciousness is moving to the back of your heart, along the spine. Consciousness right behind your spine. Now moving into the heart from the back into, you can imagine it as a soft, beautiful lotus flower, into the heart space, the chakra space of your heart. It's soft and gentle and you drop deep into there, deep into that one tiny little space, tiny wee spot in the heart. It's very special. Some people call it the pearl in your heart. Go in there. Go into that space. See the portal. When you see that portal, Go through it. And as you go through it, you are going to a space that is beyond time. Beyond the simulation. It is a field that is infinite. Luminous. There's no fake light. There's no light that goes on and off like the sun and night. It's a luminous light that has no source. Infinite, eternal. There's no time, there's no space. It 
It is what we are all, how we are all connected. It's that field, that source field, where we are all one. Where we can be the drop and the ocean. Where we can be the dream and the dreamer. And this field surrounds and envelops that simulation that we perceive. And it goes through that simulation that we perceive, that reality that seems to be so real. This field, this eternal field, this infinite field of luminous light, of beauty, of truth, is so, so much more powerful. And as we go more into that field, deeper into that field, further into that field, that other reality gets smaller. That fake reality starts to dissolve. Dissolve like the ripples on a calm lake when you throw in a pebble. Dissolving into nothingness. And the reality we are in now is expansive. And there's beauty and there's an earth that is shining and healthy and filled with love and care. And brilliant colors, happiness, joy, gratitude. We see this new earth forming. It's a jewel. It's astounding. With clear waters. Clear skies. With puffy clouds. All is well. The sounds are beautiful, clean and clear. And the range of sounds we hear is enormous. Unlimited. And what we see is unlimited. The colors are of tremendous beauty shining and the crystals they glow they are as the, it's as though they are alive it's as though the crystals are filled with love as though as though they are awake Just like the plant world, it's as though they speak. They 
It's as though they have personalities and consciousness that we can interact with easily. And the animals, you might see lambs skipping, dolphins playing, just the most beautiful, awake, spiritually awake earth. The waters bubbling, the talking, the birds, singing in the most with the most tremendous melodies, interacting with each other. And the fields of infinity, the fields of eternity, the way we navigate them is with intention. So that our minds cannot be corrupted or taken over or brainwashed or used by others, but just used by the beauty of intention. Intention is what guides our minds, what guides our bodies, our emotions. Divine intention. And from here, we can look back through that portal that we came through. We're just looking back and somewhere we see that somewhere on that other side of the portal, there's a body sitting. It's your avatar. It's not you. It's just a body with a mind that is part of that program there. So from here, from infinite awareness, Send to that mind, send to that avatar, that everything is healed and whole. And filled with love. Make that avatar Be connected to the infinite awareness field. Take that avatar back. It's yours. With your divine sovereignty, you are the one who decides what is thought and what is done with your avatar. And you create that wholeness, that healthiness, that strength, that strength that carries you, that carries your avatar. To speak and do what needs to be done in alignment, in integrity, in truth. And again, allow it to be dissolved in goodness. Bringing 
everything into the new, the new earth, this beautiful place, healthy and whole. Just find a place in this infinity where you'd like to be for a bit. And I'll just leave you there for a while.
this space, becoming aware of your essence, of your light. Feeling and seeing what you look like in this space. Seeing your frequency, whatever it is for you. Seeing your light frequency within your light, the codes within your light, and knowing that within this space you can be and go anywhere or anyone else that you wish you can go into your future and create be the creator being from this zero point everything possible. Everything can be created. And within your multidimensional selves, you are powerful, powerful beings. Know within yourself, feel within yourself the creator power that you hold. Feel it, feel that strength, that light. that beingness that is everything. In this space you are what you want to be. You can create your journey forward. Just feeling in this moment Pure, unconditional love coming from your light, coming from within you. Feeling it, seeing it. into the ethers, into the timelines, into all the dimensions, transmuting denser energy into lighter energy 
remembering you are powerful. You are creator. Going up into the higher frequency. Reaching up. up into the prisons of light, into the creator consciousness, at the same time feeling that light within your love. When you are in this frequency band of pure unconditional love, your frequency automatically raises up to the highest point the same time going out into the field, the field of all possibilities. Feeling that expansion, that higher higher vibration throughout your entire being. Knowing that your energy, your frequency is now literally going through the field of all possibilities, expanding right out. Pure love, touching, penetrating through any darkness, any denseness, feeling that powerful light being that you are moment and in this space you are all seeing all knowing all transmuting you have the power to change what may have been put in the matrix you have the power to uplift feel that within yourself that force energy that is connected fully to your soul. Feeling and knowing that wisdom knowledge that you have gained over eons of time, eons of space, bringing forward all the tools, knowledge and wisdom, whatever it is to take you forward 
in this higher vibration, this higher frequency. At the same time, seeing your future, your light, expanding out like a ray knowing and trusting that all will be well that all that you can create in this higher frequency vibration this higher frequency band Even if you don't know what it is you want to create, that does not matter. Knowing that as you reach into your future self, giving your future self the tools, knowledge and wisdom, the abundance and manifestation gifts, forward and giving your future self all of that knowledge and wisdom. Sending love parallel as we are all connected in this space we are unified we are unity we are as one we are part of the higher consciousness higher consciousness of all life, of all frequency. Seeing yourself at that highest frequency band. looking back through the portal at your avatar and sending that highest frequency band in pure love through the portal into your avatar, your body, flesh and blood that has carried you. into that heart, pure unconditional love and light, seeing every molecule as perfection, healthy, bright, all of that now into one space, here and now, feeling the codes of light. Creator codes, Shamate Akuro Yenaye Te Ira Naitu Aro no Tere Ia Kayanora Ira Mainara to Ora Mainstai. 
Shine tu ul. Yana te yarayen. Yeramai ne yarayen. Urayana yiti iu. Karoduri amarayen. Karini yari iorai. Karanai. Feeling those codes expanding out from within. Activating your DNA, your innate self, your light body. Feeling that energy within. Within your body now, within your avatar. And in this space, expanding your heart resonance of the highest frequency out, past your body, past your aura. Expanding it out far and wide, all the way around, above and below. Joining together with other hearts that are expanding. Other hearts that are filled with love. Expanding that right out, creating a giant bubble. Going right the way out and encompassing the earth. Going out even further. Out into the cosmos. Connecting with higher multidimensional beings. As you go, feeling that unconditional love and holding the earth in that space and all upon her, feeling that within your heart, Nurturing our mother as she has nurtured us. Feeling that connection to nature. To the nature spirits, the nature beings. That are living here on this earth. in another dimension and every so often those dimensions weave in and out as the veils drop in those spaces and as we raise our frequency those veils will drop more and more so that we can interact with those beings that are here. That are on the same frequency band that we are on. As like attracts like. So 
is feeling your feet now planted firmly on the ground, on, on the earth. And whatever it is, wherever you are, and feeling the energy from your heart now coming down through your body. And down through your legs. Into your ankles and feet. And down into your earth star chakra. And down into the earth through a central funnel. And connecting in with the earth's heart and the earth's consciousness, the blue cosmea of light that is within the center of the earth, really anchoring your energy in and allowing the earth through this channel to nurture you, to nurture your body to nurture your very being, allowing the healing energy to come up and into your body, into all of your body. And just coming back into your heart space now. Just taking in a big, deep breath of unconditional love in this space. Still keeping those channels and connections open of where we have connected to today. Open, strong and filled with light within you. And that love radiating from your heart. Know that this is and will be so. As your heart opens, the more that you be in this space, the more your heart opens. And you will make a difference wherever you go. coming back into the room, just taking your time, opening your eyes when you're ready.